Well, hello, welcome back to the channel. And um, oh, I was bored in the house, so I thought I'd get out and see if we can get some photography done. And as per usual, I've brought the Panasonic FZ82 simply because this is more of a more of a recce than anything else. I've seen this location, um, some other photographers have taken images up here, and um. Yeah, I thought I'd come and have a look and uh, see what I can see. What we've got up here is a couple of little landmarks. There's a trig point up here and also a weather station, which might make for some interesting images, I think. I've brought a few filters. I don't know whether to use an ND. I was kind of hoping that the, the sky would be a bit more open and you'd get some moving clouds. But it seems to be fairly flat, fairly grey. Um, so I've also got the infrared filter with me. Um, but if all else fails, then I'll just put the polarizer on and see if we can get some detail in the skies. Um, so yeah, this is more of a, a trial. See what we can get, and uh, probably a future location, sort of earmarked for another another day and another type of photography. There we have the weather station, and uh, yeah, I think we might be we might be able to make some images from this, hopefully. And uh, light's quite interesting at the moment. Got these quite dark clouds. Um, not sure the F thirty two is going to enjoy that bright light bursting through the clouds. I think the phone is possibly going to do a good job, and uh, might even take a few images using this phone as well. I think the uh, the camera will prefer it with the light uh, shining on the uh, shining on the weather station from the other side. So I think that's where we're going to head. I'm also going to try and find that trick point because I'm thinking that might make some good foreground uh, detail to put in the front of the image, across the fields and towards the weather station. I've got the camera set up on the tripod, we've got the weather station there, we're using these hay bales as foreground interest. Unfortunately there's just no light on the weather station, which I'd really like that white globe on the top to really pop. Um, I've got the polarizer on there, hoping I can do something with it, but uh, yeah at the moment it's just a little bit flat. And um, we've got a few breaks in the cloud over there, but whether they'll come to anything, I don't know. Um, yeah, trick points also all the way over there in the distance there. Hopefully, hay me with uh, this wind, but uh, yeah, it's um, not ideal. I did try the ND filter, but I think they're going to come out slightly blurred because the tripod I brought isn't exactly the heaviest. And um, yeah, I can see the tripod trying to move around in this breeze, but. Um, it's just an afternoon out, isn't it? Take a few photos and hopefully we'll get something. So I think that was a bit of a bust at the moment. It's just really windy up there. And um, yeah, to do anything like long exposure, I really need a heavy duty tripod. Uh, this one probably wasn't a good idea. A little bit too lightweight and um, yeah, the trick point I couldn't get to because 
it was in the middle of a, a crop and I didn't really want to uh, be trampling all over the farmer's crops to uh, to get the trig point but uh, I think the images might make some interesting sort of monochrome shots we shall see um, once I get them back on the computer and uh, have a good look at them So successful video making goes and photography today wasn't exactly uh, fantastic however it just shows that it is important to get out into sort of your local area find some subjects which are going to be interesting to take photographs of and then when the weather is right you know where they are you know the location you know your compositions and um, you can get out and shoot so back in the summer we'll come back hopefully that crop's been removed be across the fields take photographs of a trick point and I know roughly what I want to take photographs of so as ever thank you very much for watching this video however short it is I uh, hope you like the images and um, if you do why not give it a thumbs up and even better if you like this type of content then why not subscribe to the channel and um, I'll catch you in another one Bye for now.